I keep slapping my head like that. I'm gonna have a bright red forehead for this whole video. June bites us in the butt every single year. Not even kidding. But no year was it worse than June 2016. June. June sucked. We blew our budget so badly. We fell off and we bounced. And we continued to bounce and bounce and bounce. And it just got worse as the month went on. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband, Mauricio, and I are currently smack dab in the middle of paying off more than $300,000 worth of debt. We have been greatly inspired by Dave Ramsey to get out of debt and stay out of debt forever. So if you are of that same mindset and you want to be motivated to pay off your debt, I would love, 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 love it if you would come and subscribe and stick around and interact with our amazing community that we have on this channel. So today we are going over our June budget, which was not stellar, I will admit, but we made it through and we put a good chunk of money to debt this month. So let's walk through what we spent. In our utilities category, we spent 193 on our mobile phone and 270 on our storage unit. And in our transportation category, we spent 138.45 on gas because you know I was traveling way far for work every morning and spent a lot of time in the car this month. But it's over and we're back to normal gas expenditures this month in June, July. What month is it? In July, we're back to normal gas expenditures. We had $70 for the Easy Pass, which is our local toll road system. And yes, I spent it because I was on it a lot this month. And then we did rotate and align our tires for free, which was amazing because the place we purchased the tires has three years of free tire rotation and alignment. In the Molina category, we spent $5.90 for before and after care, $40 for Molina's school bucks, which is her lunches at school, and $152.65 for new summer clothes. I think legitimately in the past, one of the reasons we were always over in June is because in June you have school, like before and after care bills and summer camp, but because we paid 100% of our summer camp this year in February, we didn't have that, so it wasn't as bad. In the insurance and tax category, we paid $176.56 for our USAA insurance, which is our renters and our car insurance. We paid $12 for our CMFG insurance, $91.65 for my life insurance, and $35.83 for Mauricio's life insurance. Now, one change to the budget this year was in the Mauricio category. Mauricio's office went to a casual policy for the summer, and Mauricio didn't have any business casual clothes. He has business clothes and casual clothes, but nothing in between. So we actually had to go out and buy him several like collared polo type shirts. So he wouldn't have to dress up and several other items of clothing like that. So that ended up being $197.13. And that was a change we made actually before the month began be, uh, during our budget meeting because that's when most of our things change. Coffee break. And in the cash category, we had $415 for groceries and grocery store expenses, $200 for blow money, $40 for a dry cleaner, $25 for a haircut for Mauricio, $30 at Sally Beauty Supply, $100 for family outings, $30 for Melina's book fair at school, and $360 for swimming lessons. In our reoccurring and annual expenses category, we spent $34.25 on iTunes, which is Netflix, Apple Music, the iCloud, all of that. $44.95 at Weight Watchers, $26.12 at Audible. What? I'm gonna fess up. I listened to all my books that I had already purchased and I wanted a new book for the drive while I was working, so 
I bought one. And then $3.99 for Amazon Music. In our YouTube category, we spent $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $9 for Morning Fame, and $19.95 for a YouTube group I belong to. In our medical category, we had $50.92 for Melina. Melina has been on and off sick since like February. And so we took her to the doctor and the doctor said she needs antibiotics and then asked me if she could take a specific antibiotic. And I said, that's what y'all have been giving her the last three times. And she looked at me and I said, yeah, she's been on antibiotics three times since February. The doctor was like, oh, so she started looking through her records and she was like, you know what? I think Melina is suffering from seasonal allergies and she's getting all congested and it's getting infected and that's what the problem is. So we are going to, since that the spring pollen allergy season is over, we are going to be waiting until next year. We'll see how she does with the ragweed allergies, but they, they prescribed her allergy medication if it looks like she needs it. And so we are going to next year probably have to start her on pollen allergy medicine. In our sinking fund category, we spent $150 for medical, $100 for car repair replace, $100 for Christmas, $100 for emergency trip to Columbia, $75 for miscellaneous school expenses for Melly, $100 for summer camp, and $100 for our anniversary. And we did not fund our emergency fund because that's fully funded. And we don't fund the work travel expenses anymore because that is also fully funded. So in our online expenses category, you know, the category that puts me in danger of being over budget every month, I actually didn't do too badly. I was under budget. Can you believe it? We spent $13.08 for patches for some pants because I was getting holes in my pants and I am too cheap to buy new pants. So I just bought a patch and put it over it and we're good to go. You can't really see it. We also spent $13.98 for Hawaiian day supplies and then they ended up arriving a day too late. They were supposed to be here on Thursday. They got here on Friday. The party at Molina school was Friday. So I ended up sending them back. So that was a credit actually to Amazon. And then we spent $38.72 4H to Wow. This stuff I love. Oh my goodness. It's a water flavor enhancer. And I bought, I think, 12. And what it is is you squeeze some in your water and it flavors your water. And I am drinking so much water because of it. It's all natural, no sugar. It's uh, got a little bit of stevia in it. But they have flavors that I love, love, love. My favorite is the cucumber lemongrass. Oh, my gosh. And sometimes if I want it a little bit sweeter, I might put a couple of drops of stevia in it to make it kind of sweet. And sometimes I just like it with just the extract. It is a small family owned business. I've actually talked to them because they were out of stock of the cucumber water enhancer. And so I emailed them to ask them if they would be restocking it. And they said, absolutely. They explained they were a small family owned business and, and their process was long and slow and they didn't expect the volume of purchases that they had gotten. They were playing catch up. And I gotta tell you, I love it. And if you're interested, I'll link it down below. And yes, I know I can cut up fruit and put it in my water, but I'm telling you, it's not the same. Not the same. I love this stuff. And I'm no joke drinking like three or four 22 ounce glasses of water every day because of it. So it's a win in my book. And then I also spent $34.08 for some cooking supplies that I needed for some food for the week for my lunches. I think I needed cashews. I got a huge bag of cashews that were unsalted, no oil added, which they're just hard to find here. Everything here has salt or oil added. And this was a big bulk bag. And then I got nutritional yeast, just a few other odds and ends items. And then there was this. We went $200 over in this category. Not even gonna lie. And you're gonna see 
a lot of it was eating out. I started out the month by saying Mauricio eating over. I made its own category and called it Mauricio eating out with blatant disregard for the budget because that's what it was. But then I decided to show Mauricio all the money he was spending while he was eating out. Now, did Mauricio put us over budget this month? No. It was a joint effort. Eating lunches out is problematic for us because sometimes Mauricio just wants to go out with his friends and budget be damned. That's the best way to say it. So I'm not gonna go through each one of these food items because that's boring. But I will tell you there was one thing in here. It was $20.04 for a White House Christmas ornament because my mother and I both collect White House Christmas ornaments and I had to go to the White House for work and they had a special ornament that you can buy if you had been in the White House. And I was like, uh, yeah. And then in other good news, we put $6,414.71 to debt this month. So all in all, we may have had a rough month, but we did okay. We made it through. We got what we needed to get. And it wasn't too, too horribly bad. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.